global warming, world hunger, water scarcity, extinction. These are the kind of problems that our current generation are faced with. Protesting to the government can only do so much. Many experts agree that these problems are full of complexity, and we don't even know how we're going to solve some of them. No, I'm not here to blame anyone for this, but instead, I'm here to explore the solutions to these problems. It might surprise you, but I believe that the solutions to these problems might actually exist in school. Let me explain how. I am a sixth form student from Lincolnshire, and that means that I have 13 years of experience of being at school. So don't worry, guys, I'm qualified enough to talk about this stuff. Schools have been designed to force students to memorize huge amounts of content and learn exam techniques to get good marks in exams. This system may have worked well before the internet era, when information was stored in books, as retrieving information from books is a very time-consuming process. However, with the advent of the internet, artificial intelligence and search engines, retrieving information is becoming easier and quicker. Now, many people think that school is pointless, as they think that memorizing lots of information and learning exam techniques is a big waste of time. This is because we are learning how to ace a test and not how to solve problems. This means that even if you're successful at school, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be successful in a career, and vice versa. Even Bill Gates said, I failed in some of my subject exams, and my friend passed them all. Now he's an engineer in Microsoft, and I'm the owner of Microsoft. There have been so many talks on how schools are removing the creativity of students and making them feel anxious for tests, and that we need to change the system. But not many of them have given a solution to that problem. I believe that the solution to this problem is making students interested and involved with the content that they learn. Before my GCSEs, I was just memorizing the content blindly before the test and forgetting it the day after. This cycle would just repeat. However, as I got into my GCSEs, I started associating the things that I was learning with real life examples. This allowed me to grow my interest. I also decided to choose subjects that I could clearly see come in handy, like business studies, so I can start my own company, etc. This increased my performance substantially, as I could fully grasp the concepts that I was learning. Furthermore, the content that I was learning became easier to remember for longer periods of time. This made me realize that schools were encouraging us to by heart the information instead of allowing us to find the interest for the information that we're learning. We learn so much content, but we don't know how most of it is used in the real world. And this is a huge barrier for growing interest. So how do we make students interested? Instead of forcing them to learn through tests, we should make our way of teaching more interesting we should be doing project-based learning where we can acquire multiple skills at once. I actually did a lot of project-based learning in primary school without even realizing it, as I remember that I learned division by having ingredients to bake a cake, and I remember that I did a presentation on healthy eating at the Lincolnshire Showground, and I remember that I made a prototype of an eco-friendly home to learn about the environment. This allowed me to gain so many skills at once while enjoying them, and I haven't forgotten the value of those experiences until this day. I appreciate that project-based learning is easier in primary school because the concepts we learn are very simple, like addition, which can be easily contextualized in the real life world. However, as we grow older, we learn more complicated concepts like matrices and maths, and this is harder to put into context. So instead of looking at a topic in a subject and coming up with a project, we should come up with a project that includes the skills of multiple subjects together. Because in the real world, problems are made of multiple subjects mixed together. For example, you learn about 
forces and buoyancy in physics, money in finance, materials in design technology, and drawing in art. Now, imagine that you and your friends were asked to build and design a prototype of a house that floats on the sea with a certain budget. Not only are you learning physics, design technology, finance and art, you are learning team working. As you work alongside others, you are learning patience. As you work on long problems where there is no best answer, you are learning researching as you have to find the best materials. But most importantly, you are learning problem solving and not memorization. This is completely engaging and interesting. The more we practice problems like these, the harder it is to forget the skills that we learn because we use them in practice. The more we will enjoy the skills that we learn too. There are so many skills that we have to learn outside of school in order to get ready for the real world, such as negotiating skills, presentation skills, networking skills. With project-based learning, we can learn all of these valuable skills at school, preparing and improving our future generation for years to come. I also believe that this way of learning will aid students to know what kind of job they want in the future. As right now, I like maths, but will I like being an investment banker? I like the sciences, but will I like being a doctor? I like drama, but will I like being an actor? With the way school is teaching us, I will never know until I become all these things. Work experience and research about careers can only do so much. With project-based learning, I will know what kind of problems I enjoy solving, and therefore what career is the best for me. I also believe that this way of learning will encourage entrepreneurship skills, and it will encourage people to start more businesses and to solve more problems than ever before. In conclusion, school forces students to memorize lots of content, which many students don't enjoy or don't find interesting because they don't know how it will benefit their future. Many students don't know what they want to be in the future because the subjects they learn teaches them nothing about work life and the type of problems that they'll have to solve. So instead of teaching subjects separately, doing projects which includes multiple different types of skills would be a better idea as this will encourage problem solving, team working, patience, and many more additional skills such as negotiating, which wouldn't be taught in a normal modern day school. I truly believe that this is one of the stepping stones in order to solve the unsolvable. Thank you for listening.